man's hands and fingers became more developed, and we started to make tools. They knew what they wanted to create. They didn't wander around the landscape, picking up a piece of rock, banging it, and cutting an animal open. This is, this is, this is cognitive thought. This is advanced thought. You know what you want to make. You go to the source, you get the raw material, you bring it back, and you make it, and you make the same thing over and over again to exactly the same precision. All these talents led to a revolution in man's development. This culminated in access to high energy food sources like meat. Our brains grew at an extraordinary rate. So the larger brain and the more intelligent they were, the more they efficient they were in making tools, the more efficient they were in being able to extract the meat that they needed to eat. So you, you had the system feeding back on itself. Our intelligence is now so refined, we can piece together the story of our own evolution. We are on the quest to know who we are. Today, paleoanthropologists and archaeologists throughout the world are uncovering evidence of our past. They're so skilled, their techniques so advanced, they're beginning to know what our ancestors looked like, how they lived, and even how they died. there are many chapters missing in our own origin of our species. The story of man, which began over four million years ago, is incomplete. One thing is clear. From fragile, vulnerable beginnings, we have survived the rigors of natural selection. Through intelligence and will, we are becoming authors of our own evolution. By the year 1000, man was fully formed. In height and stature, he was as he is today. But his life was shorter. With no understanding of medicine, life expectancy was between 40 and 50 years of age. As many as 30 to 40% of infants died at birth. By the year 2000, man was the most successful animal on Earth. The average lifespan of a human being was 75 years. Infant mortality had been reduced to seven in a thousand. Human brains were found to be getting smaller, possibly due to domestication. By the year 3000, man could be in complete control of his evolution. Separate sexes might have disappeared. It might be possible to clone oneself as a child. Living on other planets might begin to change our bodies. There might be no death. 